Carpet Bagger here, coming to you live from the West. More specifically, we are in Seattle, Washington. And even more specifically than that, we're in front of Archie McPhee. These, these, are, these are sellers of nonsense. Often you go into a store, a gift shop, you'll see some Archie McPhee items. They're completely useless items, such as squirrel underpants, uh, air freshener scented like Sasquatch and tiny hands that you put on the ends of your fingers. But it's always good for a smile, for a chuckle. Well, the, the Archie McPhee store originated here in Seattle, Washington. They have an actual brick and mortar store where they sell the ridiculous wares here in Seattle. So please follow me. You can see here the nonsense on the side of the store. A piece of bacon here saying, I love Archie McPhee, an Archie McPhee UFO. And down there we have a squirrel wearing underpants. There's a pigeon-headed man and what appears to be Alice from Alice in Wonderland with a crow head. The slogan apparently, less talk, more monkey. Archie McPhee approved by something called the Council of Monsters. See the Archie McPhee Sasquatch right there. As we head towards the doorway, it says we make weird since 1983. And look at this. Inside we have a free rubber chicken museum. See the Wallingford Beast inside. It's a monkey playing with a giant eyeball. And look, I don't even know what this creature is right here. In the window here, we have a little Mardi Gras celebration going on. It's called Cat Tuesday. I guess we have little cats celebrating. Oh, there's some, some rats dancing in the street, kissing each other. I guess we check here in their what's new and featured section. I guess these are some of the, the newer items. There's the squawking pigeon. See squawk? Oh yeah, that's annoying. And then an emotional support chicken. Oh, you squeeze here for emotional support. Well, that's very, that's very supportive. And you have a possum air freshener there. Makes your car smell like an old possum. Oh, I think I like this a lot. This is the jackalope, jackalope bobblehead there. It's the jackalope nodder. This is a space needle bank here. And then they have a squeaky space needle. Oh, that's fun. There's a squirrel in underpants bobbler. There's a Bigfoot bobbler. And what's this? This is a office possum. The possum that makes the office awesome? I mean, he is pretty amazing. The office possum. They also have the raccoon buddy there. And uh, the cat head squirrel feeder, where it forces the squirrel to put its head up inside the cat so it looks like it has a cat head. Archie McPhee, big on objects that you put on your fingers. These are finger axolotls there. What, finger geckos? And finger pigeons. And there we have a, a possum and a peanut. I actually got this as a gift for uh, Jen at one point. Look at this baby worm here. And this little baby carrot. Oh, this is fun. A giant latex lobster. Look how big that is. That is a sizable lobster. Squishy turkey right there. It says please do not open the cheese. There's a stretchy stress pizza there. Creative little face there. And then an inflatable turkey. That would be a great prank. Someone tries to cut into the Thanksgiving turkey and it pops. We got a uh, Empire State Building plush and a plushy space needle, which is more appropriate for Seattle. Some sea creatures in here. Got the, the shark there. And look up here, this uh, fish-headed woman right there. Here is the Bigfoot section. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the sounds of the forest. They got the classic Bigfoot air freshener, and then what's this emergency Bigfoot? You can howl. 
can snort, a roar, and groan. Oh, it's not groan. Yeah, Bigfoot is kind of a big deal with Archie and McPhee. What would Bigfoot do? He would, he would uh, bury scat, bury his own turds. And here's a new addition to the Archie McPhee store, the Archie McPhee Rubber Chicken Museum here. I'll go along the red rope. It says, please enter to the right, free admission. Check out all these rubber chickens here. There is a 1985 rubber chicken. It says, unknown maker. There is a rubber chicken from the 1950s. You know, such an unusual prop, but it's always been associated with comedy and hilarity. We have a, oh, this is a rubber chicken, a 1990s rubber chicken from R.T. McPhee. And it says this is a knockoff, a knockoff of, uh, of the R.T. McPhee chicken. This is a, a low quality chicken from 2007. And here's the basic 2018 model of the rubber chicken here that they sell at Archie McPhee. Yeah, it says here on the history of rubber chickens, the rubber chicken dates back to medieval times when the court jesters would use dead chickens in their acts. There's a rubber chicken finger puppet there. This is a growing turkey. This one grows when put in water. There we have the second smallest rubber chicken in the world. I wonder where the uh, most smallest one is. Oh, these are the modern squeaking chickens. They've become more popular because they make really obnoxious noises. It's a glow-in-the-dark rubber chicken. And a whole choir of squeaking chickens right there. Oh, there. There is the world's smallest rubber chicken. Yeah, it almost looks like just a little speck of rubber. And up here we have the rubber chicken with the Santa suit it's from 2012. And that's a deluxe rubber chicken. 2016. So the story behind this rubber chicken, apparently this was used in the MSNBC newsroom and you had to have this chicken on top of your computer than you were currently in charge. There's a picture of the MSNBC newsroom with this chicken there in the corner there as proof. There's a stained glass rubber chicken there. There's a JP Patches action figure. Comes with a little rubber chicken there. Action figure of a clown. And then this rotating chicken here, that was actually used by JP Patches. And here it's got an autograph on it. And then this rubber chicken over here, autographed by Sven Gulli, who was a uh, horror host in the Chicagoland area. There's miniature rubber chickens, a rubber chicken smashed penny. So this is a haunted rubber chicken that was found underneath the warehouse says that it has caused uh, sightings of a ghost rubber chicken in this very store. There's a rubber chicken pin that you can put in your hat. Rubber chicken Mardi Gras beads. Rubber chicken pen. Rubber chicken Christmas ornaments back there. Keychains, a stress ball rubber chicken. You can pretty much do anything with a rubber chicken. There's some edible rubber chickens. You got the gummy rubber chicken there. Rubber chicken mints. There's a little rubber chicken gun that fires mini rubber chickens. So this rubber chicken is from Tam Shepard's uh, Trick Shop in Glasgow. There's the inflatable version. I guess that is a, an emergency rubber chicken that's in a, in a can until you need it, you can inflate it. There's emergency chicken noises. You've got a rubber chicken magazine. Here is the centerfold. A pretty cool rubber chicken art right there and here at Archie McPhee at the rubber chicken museum you can actually pose with the world's largest rubber chicken so the rubber chicken museum has an official gift shop over here you can see the different uh, rubber chicken items the uh, air freshener there. Here's a bendy rubber chicken. What's this one? It's a squishy, squishy one. So many. Oh, official rubber chicken museum 
lip gloss. Oh, some good stuff. Good stuff here. You can see the American Gothic like painting there, but this is called American Squawkic. There's a chicken suit here. Only $140. That's a good price on a chicken suit. Here's some Japanese novelties from the 30s to the 60s. It's interesting. Little figures down there. Some wind up toys. These are some random things I wouldn't necessarily expect to find here. An HVAC circuit board. What's this? A high temp oven lamp socket. Oh, these are cool. These are taxidermy eyes. I wonder what animal that would be. Maybe that's a shark. So it's got a black eye, like a doll's eyes. So the giant devil's head right there. Oh, he's got a little monocle covering his eyes. The devil watching over Archie McPhee. Look at these little robots here. It says, watch me walk. Oh, there he goes. Oh, 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 calm down, calm down. Calm down, oh, that's enough, okay. Sorry. Here's the amazing Archie McPhee glow chamber, only five cents. I don't have a nickel, but I'll put a quarter in there. It says flip the switch on, the switch right there. Okay, and then it says every switch on madness. As we gaze through the eye here to see the man, oh my gosh. This is madness. Look at all the glowing going on in here. You can see the Dilophosaurus head there, here at the glow land section. All these are items that glow. Of course, the glowing rubber chicken. We have glowing tentacles here. Some glowing zombies. And uh, finger, finger tardigrades. Oh, what is a tardigrade? It's so weird looking. A weird creature. I think these are like microscopic monsters. Glow in the dark, Senor Mysterioso statue. Who's Senor Mysterioso? He's so mysterioso. Oh, here's the cryptozoology section. They have a fur bearing trout. This is a nicely colored fur bearing trout. I've not seen one that color. And then a jackalope antler there. You can see the alien head up there. He's wearing the tinfoil hat. You can see his little UFO there. And then over here, we have the Wallingford Beast. And there we have the actual preserved Wallingford Beast. Right there. Oh, very creepy. Almost like a spidery turtle, like a turtle tarantula with a creepy skull. These are Parasite Pals. Dick Tick the Head Louse. Blinky the Eyelash Mite. Z the Bed Bug. Tickles the Tapeworm. <laughs> Does he tickle your belly? This is Sunny the Blobfish. Oh no, the Blobfish. Such a sad looking animal. And apparently they look a lot more normal when they're at the bottom of the sea where they belong, but they're used to the pressure. And then when there's no pressure, it makes them look all weird and blobby. You got the world's smallest Frankenstein. Yeah, an invisible man and a headless horseman. And they're all tiny? Yeah, little guys. Oh, these are cool. Get the invisible man. He's tiny and invisible. So he's super that's hard to see. Box. What's this? Oh, that's the headless horseman. You see the little pumpkin head? These are cool. So that's the world's smallest Ouija board. Does it have a really tiny planchette inside? <laughs> oh, we have a fortune teller here, Captain Archie says he takes uh, 50 cents in quarters. Captain Archie here. Would you like to hear my Robert De Niro impression? Yes. Of course you would. <laughs> Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? That's pretty good. No one else here. You must be looking at me. <laughs> that used to crack up me cabin boy. He's a crack up his cabin boy. That's our fortune. I think this is the religious section. They have a box of plagues. There's, oh, a locust in there. So these are a, is there a, a pirate? Is there a pirate plague? A plague of pirates? Oh, there's some, uh, there's a, a Mary, Mary that you can burn into your toast. 
There's um, a Buddhist monk wearing a Santa hat. That's interesting. Who's that guy? It's Totoro. Totoro. What is he? Is he a bunny? Um, I mean, he's like a. I'm not, it's not really explained. It's not really. <laughs> he's an animal. Yes, he's very kawaii. He is. He is. He is oh yeah, he's pretty kawaii. Yeah. You got your dashboard Jesus there, your dashboard Pug Buddha, and then say, oh, Last Supper snow globe. That's actually really cool. I like that. Oh no, it's snowing. What? Last Supper. These are cosmetology practice mannequins. He says these heads are made of real hair. So you can, I guess, you practice on cutting these before you try to cut a real person's uh, head. Uh, yeah, so you just take take home whichever head you like, and, and then you're free to cut its hair in any way you want. Yes, these are all band-aids, different types of band-aids. Leech band-aids, sloth nurse bandages. It's a crazy cat lady bandages. These hander pants, they're underwear for your hands. Here's the cat section. You can see by the giant cat paw here pawing at the uh, at the ball. This is cat land. You see the yarn tossed everywhere. A little mouse there peering out of the house. These are the best, the costumes that you wear with your cat. You can be a chicken and an egg. You can, this is role reversal, you can make the uh, the cat look like a human and you look at cat. Jen apparently did purchase that at one point. I did. It didn't fit my head. It didn't fit her head. No. Well, you could also both be pumpkins or you could be a squirrel and your cat could be an acorn. I actually bought the pumpkin one too. Oh, you bought the pumpkin one too? Yeah. <laughs> and here we have some unicorns here under the rainbow of tentacles and other objects. Nope. Yeah. Giant horse head or unicorn head to apply to your own head. It's your own inflatable unicorn horn that you can strap to your head. It's a great collection of different masks and had a zombie horse mask. You could be a zombie horse. Let's see the sloth there. There's the squirrel mask. All sorts of fun stuff. Here's J.R. Patches, the clown they mentioned in the Rubber Chicken Museum. And, uh, oh, here's, I think this is actually the Archie McPhee store here in Ballard, USA. So we'll... Rosebud. All these little figures here, little parachuters. It's just a little UFO. And up on top, this great tableau of all these little vintage toys here. You see the clown there, the bride, all the little figures in there. When we have new employees start, we, yeah. have, we tell them, find pee guy. See if you can find pee guy. And pee guy? Pee, pee guy. Pee guy. He literally is a figure that is pee. <laughs> He's peeing? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's mid level. He's mid level. Uh, he's not upper management. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't hide him, you know. I thought he was like. Where is he? I've been like a man. I don't want to get anything. No, I'm fine. Where is he? Where is he? Um, oh, there he is. Found him? Yeah. Oh, there. There's P Guy. Just peeing yep. in the big crowd of people. Doesn't even care. Let's see, up here, we have a two headed mermaid. There, look at that. So what is that? Some sort of pilgrim with a yellow head? It says, who's Archie McPhee? And I guess we look in this ukulele case. It says, press this button and look. Oh, there he is. The real Archie McPhee. That explains everything. A happy scarecrow here. Look on his shirt. It's this strange little character that you see throughout the store. It's a possum, and it says, why we love possums. They help keep your neighborhood clear of unwanted pests, eating cockroaches, rats, and mice, that's true. Help minimize your risk of encountering venomous species and are naturally immune to snakes. Possums immune to snake bites 
They keep a clean neighborhood with low risk of developing and spreading rabies. Yeah. Possums are not carriers of rabies, that's true. And it says, in addition to being relatively harmless, one of the greatest allies, depending on ticks, that carry Lyme disease. So purely positive to have possums in your neighborhood. So you found what you wanted here? You I want, do. You wanted, you got, you're going to go with the baby worm? I am. On the back there's a baby worm lullaby. So baby I can, worm lullaby. You're going to yeah, sing. We, we can sing to it. You're going to sing to our baby worm? Yes, we've <laughs> adopted a baby worm. <laughs> Welcome to Critter Country. They have some, I guess, their critters here. We have finger meerkats, finger raccoons. Ooh, racing, racing possums. They got wheels on them. Tardigrade again. Wait a minute, it says, who was the first tardigrade on the moon? Neil Armstrong. Oh, because he has so many arms, I guess. Pick your own mustache in this section. We have the hipster mustache, the artist. Oh, it's the bat stash, you have like a bat. Or you can have a tentacle mustache. A mustache ice cube tray. I don't like the idea of having a, a mustache in my drink. Different collections of mustaches there. We have the seven deadly mustaches here. Pride, sloth, greed, gluttony, anger, envy, and lust. Yeah, here's the classic squirrel underpants. I bet it will be hard to get those on an actual squirrel. Okay, so you have to ask mm -hmm. Motog here a oh, yes, like a yes or no question. Oh, great, Motog. What uh, should I? Uh, should I adopt the baby worm? Should we adopt the baby worm? Let's see what Motog has to say about this. Let's give Motog the. My answer is definitely. Definitely. There you go. So Motog wants you to adopt the baby worm. I'm a parent. <laughs> oh, look at this head here. Completely covered in Google eyes. Has a shark with an eye in its mouth coming out of its forehead. That's crazy. A little nativity scene there with a possum and a raccoon. Ooh, finger sporks. I guess this would be really, actually really handy. This is a really good idea where you can put these on your on your fingers and it can help you eat finger sports <laughs> that way you can just eat food and you'll be like no i'm right just shovel it into your mouth like this we have the holiday section where you get ornaments for your tree of course the bigfoot ornament there the crazy cat lady ornament and bebo i guess this guy is named bebo the guy with the big ears and the tentacle coming out of his forehead is bebo and of course a pigeon dressed like Santa riding an ostrich. That seems uh, seems very festive. I have these different lunch boxes here, but this really confuses me. This is like a a paper hog on a platter, and is this paper sushi? I don't even know what it is. Oh wow! I love these. All these old plastic style snow globes we have uh some some religious one man before mary they all got the snow in them it's a native american dancer there this is native american snow drum it's actually shaped like a drum that snows and it has native americans on a seesaw here's london new orleans there got the statue of Liberty there. This is a water skier. He was skiing, of course, in the snow. There's a boy and his dog right there. There's what Washington DC. Oh, you can see the cherry blossoms. There is a, uh, the devil, I guess. The devil. And oh, look at this. It's the Corn Palace in South Dakota. Oh, I love the corn ballast. What's that Ni Niagara Falls there? Yeah, it's, it's in like a little like, it's, it's in a little gold treasure I chest. Know, really it's like got a it. rainbow. So shake it up a little more. Oh, look at it. And there's a, a rural scene, a man with cattle. And, uh, oh, this is Las Vegas here. It snows in Las Vegas all the time. You have the pagan breakfast god 
mask. So you could be a some sort of breakfast god. Just a little shark chopsticks there. And he actually like when you do the chopstick motion, he does little bites. We had a finger spore. <laughs> I'm ready. This is a high altitude flight suit being worn by a deer person. Generic playing cards. All the fun without the needless frills. Some cake toppers there. And a little bride and groom snow globe. Congratulations. And here's a little best man figurine to add to your wedding cake. So you could have them next to the uh, bride and groom there. Selection of candy canes here. They have hot dog flavored. Sour cream and onion. Oh, sardine. Oh, mac and cheese there. And there's some delicious lobster candy. Oh, is this really flavored like lobster? It's a Bah Humbug candy cane. No flavor, no stripes, no spirit. <laughs> there's a sign here that says, For the sanity of our staff, please only squeak once. I think there were some kids in here just a little bit ago that must not have saw that sign. There's some finger hands for finger hands. Uh -huh. These are the finger hands up here. These go on your fingers. And the finger hands for finger hands go on the finger hands. Here is a deluxe Ming Dynasty acupuncture model. So you could practice acupuncture on its face. All right, so we got a little bag of, of swag here from uh, Archie McPhee, but we did want to try the lobster candy. This was my idea and I now regret it. Jen said, we gotta try it. I, I don't know why I said and that. And then she said, no, I don't wanna try it. And I'm like, no, you've committed now. We have to try it. So, you get a piece. I smelled it. It smells awful. <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything to me. It smells like it in there. All right. Right now I don't smell anything. Let's see. I do love lobster. You like lobster. I love lobster. So you should love what? lobster candy, right? You can smell it as soon as you open it. it smells a little, a little bit like a lobster. All right, go for it, Jen. You first. Why me first? Do you promise you'll do it too? I promise. Same time. All right. No, you have to put in your mouth. <laughs> It tastes like lobster. I mean, what are you doing? I was looking away because I was making a terrible face. I spit it out. I don't think it's good to eat lobster candy. I don't. At least I spit it out <laughs> off of camera. Oh. <laughs> we don't have a drink. Do you know what it kind of tastes like? It's like if you took like like the water, uh, like the boiled lobster in, and then mixed sugar in it and drank yeah. that. No, yeah, you're right. It's pretty spot on. I'm not happy with my decision to put that in my mouth. But the container is very cute. Like we can offer you. Look off, how happy that lobster is. We can is. offer that to people that come visit. Yeah. Oh. Come visit our child. Does that worm. You can taste the butter. Taste the butter in there too. I mean, it's not false advertising. It's you get, you know, you buy lobster candy. You and get lobster they're candy. They're not. It's not a prank. It's not. They're not fooling you. They're giving you what? It's world's <laughs> finest crustacean confection. Oh my gosh. Anyways, thank you guys for uh, briny, sweet, tasty, and buttery. Thank you guys for joining us today here at Archie McPhee's here in Seattle, Washington. Um, great store, fun stuff. Super great candy. Fun. Not so great candy. <laughs> Loved visiting here. People very nice here as well. And uh, they were very nice. There's uh, if you like these videos, <laughs> subscribe and let you know when new videos come out. I've traveled the United States filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, other fun stuff. And eating lobster candy. Eating lobster candy, unfortunately. Oh. Um, I don't like the way it tastes in my mouth right now. No. Uh, Is there any water in this? A little bit of water. <laughs> water in the back. Anyways, thank you guys. If uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. Three dollars or more, you get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling five different styles of enamel pins in the Etsy shop. All that goes to help keep this train on the track. 
The slobster in the water. Slobster in the water. And it's dirigible in the air. <laughs> Until next time. This once in the bag. In the lobster trap. <laughs> <laughs>